Welcome to This Week in WoW, episode number six. My name is Paul Ritchie, also known as Game as The Fury. With me, as always, is... Justin Padilla, and in-game, I am now JP Smiles. We've got a lot to talk about today, so I'm going to get right into it. Topic number one, the Warlords of Draenor quest epic drop chance. So check it out. You know how before you go to a quest and you get the same old green item? Or possibly blue if you're lucky. Well, guess what? Now you're going to be able to get blues, which uh, come from random greens, randomly. And uh, then purples coming from blues and the same uh, chance. So basically, all of your quest items can randomly get upgraded, which makes questing that much more fun. What do you think about that, Paul? Well, I mean, as of right now, you're seeing some screenshots from the active beta. And uh, there's an item on screen that is going to be a green item. But this guy's got the same version in a 524 item level dropping with the system that's in place currently on the live build. Um, on the servers where we see, like if you do Celestials or something like that, or even uh, Flex or Raid Finder, you just have this item that may pop up, you know, you got lucky and all of a sudden you have an item. That same thing is now being added to questing. Oh my god, this is just going to add a little bit of flavor to it. Like, uh, what are, you know, you're doing a hard quest, and you, it's a blue reward, and all of a sudden you drop an epic? I mean, it's a, it's a major upgrade to the questing system. I love it, and I'm super excited because now people who like to PvE are going to have an easier time getting some drops that will make, uh, make a difference early on. So, Ubers. Upper Black Rock Spire. For those folks who love Leroy Jenkins, we are getting a heroic version or a revamp that's going to be available at the top level. Um, I'm super excited about it. There's a little bit of changes to the layout and everything, but it's the same old Ubers that everybody loves, and uh, you get to play it at the max level now. So go ahead, Paul. Yes, uh, this is great. Uh, just like all the other expansions since uh, ICC, what they're doing is they're going back to some of the older content that uh, some of the veterans may have loved and, and played to death, uh, such as myself. And I think Justin here, we've played Ubers enough times that we've memorized every turn. Uh, now they're getting a revamp. And one of the biggest things that they've done is they've made it a little bit more direct. It makes a little bit more sense. And you cannot fall into lower Blackrock Spire anymore, which was a huge issue. Uh, there's certain key points that if you weren't, you didn't know where you were going or you didn't know uh, that a certain turn was going to come up, you could literally fall into a different instance. And now you'd be in that instance and uh, clearing towards that trash. So this is going to be amazing that they're bringing back a really good fan favorite uh, dungeon and the screenshots look amazing the videos look all amazing we're going to link to a couple other videos so you can kind of see that but uh it looks like a great revamp so far ah oh, god i used to hate that falling into the other instance and then having to run out i am so glad they're fixing that all right cool topic number three blasted lands getting a long quest chain and orgrimmar is going back to normal so blasted lands uh People probably forgot about that. That's like back in level level 60 days. But the really cool dark portal, it's got a brand new look, which you'll see in the video. And there's going to be a, an awesome quest chain added that will make it that more much more interesting. Go check out the Blasted Lands again. Take it away, Paul. Yeah, it's it's awesome. Like uh, we're looking at a picture right now of the dark portal. It looks fantastic on the Draenor side, uh, and and basically uh, on the Blasted Lands side. I mean, for those of you who have played this uh, this game, uh, you know that you went through the dark portal into the BC Burning Crusade expansion, and so there was a huge event outside of it, and they haven't really upgraded it since Cata, and it's just kind of been sitting there. Well, now there's going to be a lot of quests out there, quest chains for you guys to do prior to going into the expansion so there's a lot of cool things it looks awesome now something that we kind of didn't touch on we just said briefly Orgrimmar is going back to normal now what we mean by that is uh, with the whole build up to Garage uh, security in there all these extra troops were there uh, there was a bit of like a gloomy feel to Orgrimmar because Garage had kind of taken over and uh, had destroyed a lot of the morale well all of the uh, changes that had happened for Garage are now going back to normal. Yeah, spoiler alert, you kill Garrosh at the end of Siege of Orgrimmar. 
<laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> so that is a pretty awesome change. And finally, for all you nail biters out there, we are coming to our final topic, which is a beefy one. All the interesting, awesome changes that are happening in the beta. So let's start off with... Uh, a couple of new zones. We've got Gorgrond and Talador, which are coming up, and those look pretty pretty cool. You're going to see some screenshots of those in the background. Um, I will let Paul talk a little bit more about those, but I'll just co cover the other couple of topics we've got. We've got new warrior and paladin talents coming in this expansion that they just revealed, as well as some hunter revamps. And now I'm a hunter, so I'm going to love telling you about those. But go ahead and talk about the new zones, Paul. All right, so we'll talk about Gore Ground here. It's uh, a nice uh, zone. There's not a whole lot of pictures. It's kind of on the more north side of it. It's uh, a smaller one. It's got the Iron Docks, the Highland Pass, and some canyon-like uh, atmosphere. Uh, but what's more exciting to me is the other zone, which is uh, Talador, I, I believe it's pronounced. It looks really interesting. It's a mix. It kind of looks a lot like a, a Blood Elf, a Strenate, uh kind of uh, zone. So there's a lot of floating things. There's a forest there. It kind of also reminds me of the uh, zone underneath Dalaran, uh, the forest down there. It, it is very pretty, and uh, they've just done an, an amazing job here with this expansion, making everything look so exciting. And I, I think we all have, like, you know, rose tinted spectacles here, and we're just so excited about the expansion, but it just looks so beautiful. Um, and, and to move on to talk about briefly the talents. Now, so far we're getting to see uh, the warrior talents as well as the paladin talents for 100. Uh, so there's a lot of new things coming out in the expansion. Again, I'm going to link to some MMO videos here at the bottom. We've got Final Verdict, uh, uh, Beacon of Insight, and Seraphim for Paladins, and Ignite Weapon and Ravager. Uh, adding a little bit of uh, spice uh, on the beta, so we're getting to see those. But what about the hunter you were talking about? Well, uh, I want to talk about the hunter, but real quick, I just thought it was awesome that you now get to throw a Ravager, just like Garrosh. So for all you warrior uh, lovers out there, you're going to enjoy just tossing those out and watching the enemy party wipe. All right, so check it out. For you hunter lovers out there, we've got a ton of new talent changes. What's interesting is survival is going to get a boost there is a buff coming that is going to change their uh, – it's called Survivalist. It's going to give them the multi-strike chance of an additional 10%. So that's going to hugely increase DP DPS as well as giving them a 15% health over 10 seconds after killing a target. So for people who like to PvP and even actually questing, this is going to be an amazing buff. You're going to love that. Um, now Chimera Shot – is getting nerfed a little bit. So Marksmanship Hunters, I'm sorry, but you're no longer getting that awesome heal from Chimera Shot. However, they're finally spelling it correctly. So <laughs> it's a win-loss kind of situation. And then uh, lastly, I want to talk about DKs. Uh, Rune Tap is getting changed. You blood DKs out there, it's going to give you a little more mitigation rather than that burst of health. So you will now get uh, two charge mitigation which reduces damage by 50 percent for three seconds so basically those of you tanky dks who never die you're going to die even less yeah let's make uh, one of the more uh important tanking classes even more indestructible right yeah but uh, that being said, there's a whole lot of content going on in the beta right now. We're seeing new zones, we're seeing uh, 100 talents, and we're seeing all sorts of things. So that we can't talk about everything, but we're trying to give you the best of what's going on right now within World of Warcraft. And that's hence this week in World of Warcraft. I don't think we have anything else to talk about. Thank you very much for uh, joining us here. Yeah, that's it. That's our show. So thanks, guys. I'm the Fury, also known as Paul Ritchie. And I am JP Smiles, a.k.a. Justin. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week.